Και αυτό το δεύτερο παγκόσμιο φόρουμ κατασταλμένη βγήκε. Και γι' αυτό χρειάστηκε το σχέδιο Μάρσαλ, για το οποίο συζητάμε σήμερα στα βρεβλή γερέ. Ευχαριστούμε. Λοιπόν, ευχαριστούμε για Υπάρχει απλώς αφεντικό. την ομιλία σου, η οποία ήταν κακά τα ψέματα απεσιόδοξη. Μας μάρμεσες λίγο την καρδιά. Η, η, η περιγραφή σου ήταν ακριβή. Νομίζω είναι κοινό τόπο όλοι συμφωνούμε σε αυτά που έχει επισημάνει. Το ζήτημα βέβαια είναι ότι επειδή είχε και πολύ συνδρότητα μέχρι τώρα για να φτιαχτεί η Ευρώπη, έστω και έτσι όπω φτιάχτηκε μέχρι σήμερα, να αρχίσουμε λίγο να σκεφτόμαστε αν υπάρχει κανένα δρόμο να την κρατήσουμε ενωμένη παρά να ακολουθήσουμε την πορεία τη διάλυση τη ή τη μονα, τον μοναχικό δρόμο, ο οποίο θα είναι και αυτό δύσκολο. Μπορεί τα πράγματα να είναι δύσκολα μέσα στην Ευρώπη, αλλά θα είναι πολύ πιο δύσκολα ίσω σε ένα παγκοσμιοποιημένο κόσμο και η μοναχική πορεία. Να δούμε λοιπόν τι θα μα πει ο κ. Γκαρουίλ Κολέτη, ο οποίο είναι καθηγητή στο Πανεπιστήμιο του Λουζ 1. Θα μα μιλήσει για το θέμα ένα αναπτυξιακό σχέδιο για την Ελλάδα, κυριαρχία και συμμαχίε. Καλησπέρα σα. Πρώτα θέλω να πω ένα μεγάλο ευχαριστώ στον κύριο Καμένο για την πρόσκληση και επίση στον συνάδελφο Ξαβίδη. Ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ. Δυστυχώ θα σα μιλήσω αγγλικά γιατί για μένα είναι πολύ δύσκολο να σα μιλήσω ελληνικά. Το προσπάθησα πριν το πρώτο χρόνο και μισό και ήταν μαρτύριο για εσά. Γι' αυτό νομίζω ότι θα το πρώτο να στα αγγλικά. Με συγχωρείτε λοιπόν στα αγγλικά. Uh, λοιπόν, αυτό θα um, I will, I will in English. Really um, I would like to, to stress the point. What's very important for me is that Greece and us should have a development program. I think it is really very important. And I will say some words about this uh, uh, development program with two meanings. One is sovereignty and the other one according to Marshall Plan, is alliances. <coughs> so this is the plan. The first point, I will speak about this development program and sovereignty. The second point, the main aspects of the development program. And the third point is alliances and sovereignty. So the first point, according to the former speaker, uh, Stavros Ilios, I hope you will uh, understand without the PowerPoint. It's not very important, I think. Uh, what I would like to say is since 2008-2009, Greece has fully lost its sovereignty. And the Greek government today is both authoritarian and weak responsible, absolute responsible for its policy, but dominated. And this government executes without real opposition the politics ordered by the Troika. So, as Filippo said, the real government of the country is far away from Greece. The real government is in Washington, This is, of course, the International Monetary Fund, Brussels, as Filippo said, European Commission, Frankfurt, as European Central Bank, and Berlin, as Germany. These are the core places who decide what has to be done in Greece. And I would say that as two usual, In Greek modern history, I mean since 1821, foreign Greek powers decide, instead national institutions, what is good for Greece and what is good for them. We just don't forget that, what's good for them. And in my opinion, this has led Greece to underdevelopment. More, in my opinion, this is the real reason of the development of the country. In my opinion, a dominated country without 
self-defined project, I agree absolutely with that, is not able to develop. If you don't have any development program, you will of course not develop. And its status, as it was said, is similar to a colony. And to develop, Greece has to affirm its sovereignty. Without sovereignty, there is no development. So, I would like to say some words about the second point. What could be this development program for Greece? What, what are the main aspects of this development program for Greece? The next one, please. Okay, this is now we are correct. <laughs> so this is the first main aspect of the development program, in my opinion. <coughs> the first aspect is that Greece should rebuild and create new institutions. And we have to keep in mind that institutions are so formal, and formal I mean all kinds of organizations as political parties, government, parliament, public administrations, but institutions are too informal. I mean ways of thinking, ways of conceiving the future, organizing, setting norms. The second aspect for me of this development program is to develop democracy. Democracy is both representative democracy through elected people, but also direct democracy. I think it's very important. If you do not have direct democracy, you will never have a real representative democracy. Both of them are really linked. So you, have to, you need both institutions, this is the republic, and you need the debate, the public debate, the agora. You need both of them. If you have only institutions without democracy or, or with, without agora, or agora without institution, it doesn't work. You need both of them. The third aspect for me is promoting moratorium instead memorandum. And what I mean exactly is stop the payment of the interest. Stop the payment of the interest. Second, a very strong reduction of the nominal value of the debt. And you don't have to wait for the others. These are sovereign decisions. The Greek people have to decide these points. Fourth point of this development program, strengthening of industry and agriculture. But not for exports, not for exports. The main point is to respond to give a response to domestic needs. And this is not the case at all. At the moment, I've seen exactly with re really precision the statistics. When Greece exports one euro industrial goods, <coughs> it imports four. It imports four. It's absolutely impossible. The way the today government gives an answer is to reduce importation through reducing the consumption. You understand what my meaning? Huh? Okay. This is of course the wrong way because it means only decline. The only way is to develop the industry, to develop the agriculture, not to export but to answer the domestic needs. It's really extremely important in my opinion. Fifth point, reinforcing material and intellectual investment. The main investment is in education, <coughs> professional training, innovation. But the people, the young people, they have to stay here, as you said, and not to go abroad. And there you have to have an industry, to develop industry. If industry and agriculture doesn't develop, then of course these people will try to find a solution abroad. But it's not the, the right way. Investment also is in infrastructures, new energies, information and communication, high roads, safe and low energy transportation. That is very well known. But both material and intellectual investments. The sixth point is rethinking the place of the banks in order to put them at the service of the economy. 
the President Kamenos talk about the Glass-Steagall Act is exactly what you need. You need a Glass-Steagall Act for Greece <coughs> and for all Europe. You're absolutely right. In order to have this bank to serve the economy and not to speculate and not to speculate against the country as they do. The Greek banks speculate against the country. The seventh point is promoting endogenous territorial development. It's very important. National development is important. Endogenous territorial development is important too. Instead, trying to attract always new foreign investment through low labor, labor costs or deregulations. <coughs> it is a wrong way. A new, a new government, your government, should reinforce endogenous dynamics based on skills, trust, confidence, and culture. And Greece is strong through its diversity. It's very important. You are a diverse country. And this diversity is a strong factor. It's not a weakness. And to end, to go to the conclusion, of course, if, you're, if, you have, if you have a national development program, then you have to think about your alliances and sovereignty. What do I mean with that? Sovereignty doesn't mean autarky. It doesn't mean you have to close the frontiers. It's wrong. It's not a closed economy, avoiding any bilateral relation. Sovereignty means independence, a self-defined project, self-defined project, open to national alliances. But you have to define your project yourself. Some words about the Marshall Plan. Very ambivalent in my eyes, this Marshall Plan. Very ambivalent. The Marshall Plan spirit was far from that because this plan was thought first, first, to provide market opportunities for the American economy. Not forget that, please. Yeah. Marshall Plan signification was loans in dollars given by the World Bank, controlled by the International Monetary Funds, with conditions, the movement should be in dollars, the goods and equipment had to be American, and only the USA could have the veto right. Don't forget that. <coughs> but, according to what said uh, President Kamenos and what will say Claude Rocher presentation, <coughs> the Marshall Plan was indeed the last policy to choose uh, what uh, activities should be supported mainly in the industrial sector. And this policy was right and successful in re-industrializing Europe. I think this is very important, indeed. So what we should keep in mind with Marshall Plan is, first, that industry is a core activity. I think this is very important, first. The second point is that a public intervention is not a bad thing when it's good organized, well thought. And the third point is a necessity for a development program. So again, Greece has really to develop its own institutions, <coughs> its own economy, being open but not, not offered, open and not offered to foreign interest. And the main characteristic of an island, if you think about alliances, is mutual benefits, reciprocity, respect for the independence of both parts. Nothing to do with hegemony or economy. Thank you very much. Δεν ξέρω αν έχει και σχέση με τον γνωστό μας κολέτη από την ιστορία, ο οποίος όπως ξέρετε και θυμάστε ήταν αυτός που διατύπωσε τη μεγάλη ιδέα. Μήπως χρειαζόμαστε και τώρα μια μεγάλη ιδέα, δεν ξέρω αν μπορεί να περιλάβει και αυτά που είπε ο κύριος Κολέτης και άλλα που θα ακούσουμε ή και σε άλλα που θα προβληματιστούμε. Πάντως έτσι πως βαδίζουμε χωρίς πηξίδα, σίγουρα πάμε στα βράχια. Κάτι χρειαζόμαστε, ένα όραμα, όπως το λένε, μια μεγάλη ιδέα, κάτι χρειαζόμαστε, ώστε γύρω από αυτό να συσπηρωθούμε. <coughs>